Good evening. We begin with new developments in the push to export liquefied natural gas out of Brownsville. A second public commenting period is drawing to a close. Critics and supporters now have less than a week to get their thoughts on record. Channel 5's Christian Von Pricing reports on one woman's health concerns. The LNG companies are seeking government approval to invest billions of dollars in the Brownsville ship channel and take natural gas and export it overseas. The process would cause air pollution and it would be downwind of some valley communities. Out here, the wind is a constant. The water in the Laguna Madre picks up a chop. Port Isabel sits off in the distance. This is Laguna Vista, Marianne Poitras's home. The place, she says, she made a recovery. Well, I was getting to the point where I was immobile. Years ago, she says she was living out of state and developed Meniere's disease. She says the change was dramatic, taking away her balance and leaving her in bed all day. I never knew which side was up, where I was in space, and, and all that kind of stuff. She says she worked next to a paper mill, and tests from her doctor showed she became allergic to just about everything. She decided to move somewhere else and chose Laguna Vista. And over the next year, year and a half, the swelling in my inner ear came down and the vertigo got better and better controlled. She says it used to be a challenge to walk off her porch to sit by the water. Several miles in the distance, three companies plan to build large facilities to turn natural gas into liquid. They plan to use the Gulf Coast as a launch pad to load ships and ship the product overseas. They haven't been approved yet. The process will mean pollution. Documents from their federal permitting process shows all three LNG companies expect to emit some of the following pollutants. Particulate matter, soot, smoke, and other things. The EPA says these can get inhaled and cause a number of problems. Sulfur dioxide. The EPA says short-term exposure to this compound can make breathing difficult. Nitrogen oxides. The EPA says this gas can react in the air to create more particulate matter, posing a threat to the person who breathes it. Some of those LNG sites would be southeast of Port Isabel and Laguna Vista. The wind the valley receives most of the year also comes from the southeast and through this community. I am on the receiving end of prevailing wind blowing straight on me here. We reached out to Texas LNG, Anova LNG, and Rio Grande LNG to ask them to respond to these concerns about emissions. Next decade's Rio Grande LNG says their emissions levels will meet all the rules set by the state and federal government. Anova LNG says its technology will be mostly powered by electric motors and will create lower emissions than typical LNG facilities. Texas LNG did not respond to several requests for comment. For Poitras, it's a major concern. My quality of life is here. A concern her old problems could repeat themselves. As we mentioned, the approval process isn't complete. The three companies are still seeking approval from the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, whose job it is to weigh the pros and the cons of the project and give the final word. For a short while longer, that agency still wants to hear from the public about what they think of the plans before they make their final decision. We'll have that link to how you can comment on our website, krgv.com. We'll also have the full statements from the LNG companies who responded as well. In the Channel 5 News Studio, Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News.